Hey. I always wind up making it wiggle just ever so slightly and it's off center. I need to... There. So, can you hear my wheeze? <coughs> yeah. I have been making hats. When I first take them off the loom, they look like that. That's a rolled brim one. It's not that green at all. It's more of a turquoise color. And there's this tail, and you go like this, and you pull really, really hard, and you have the top of the hat. And then you take the crochet hook and weave it in a bunch of times, and then pull it through, and then the hat's done. But I'll make like five or six of them to this stage. Here's another one that's a really heavy, heavy hat. It again is a turquoise color, not a, not that green color. Part of it's that I, it's really dark right here. It doesn't look dark on the camera, but it's really dark right here. Anyway, I'm working on this one. I don't like it. I'm probably going to pull it out. You can't really see the colors. Okay, so these are the three colors going in. And... <coughs> what's looking like white here is actually a fairly dark gray it's oh, you see that that's gray and not white but as I'm working with it it's turning white in contrast and it's looking like I was trying for a rustic red white and blue and it doesn't work I'm gonna sneeze now <coughs> So one of the problems, yeah, you can't hear me. That was unfortunate. Hi. I try to do that off camera. One of the problems working with this old yarn, like this is one of the old yarns. See how old that tape is? That's masking tape that's just brittle now and not sticky anymore at all. And when you peel it off, it leaves orange tape behind or orange glue behind half the time. Yeah, it broke. See the glue? It left glue behind there. See the glue? Anyway, one of the problems working with these... I buy a giant bag at a time at the one thrift store and they're $5 a bag. That's what I've been working with. Most of them are better colors. One of the problems is cats and dogs and, and dust of ages. <clears throat> yeah, me and my allergies. But, got some pretty yarns out of it. One of the things I've been doing... Oh, ow, I can reach. I've been making mini skeins out of, there's some unfortunate colors and whites and they're nylon and acrylic and 20% wool acrylic blend and 10% silk wool blend and just a thousand different fibers. So I've been making these mini skeins. They are in theory 50 yards each. I say in theory because it's not exact. They're probably 47 yards. I measured out a yard and I set my Lazy Susan or Lazy Kate to that yard and I spin it on and I tie it off and it's, it's done. And there's a lot of ish in the measurement. It's not exact. If I wanted it exact I'd use a nitty knotty measured to a yard. Which I don't have. I thought about measuring a yardstick and using a yardstick to the yard. Yeah, that's from drilling holes. Um, but this was fast, this was easy, and it's getting it done. And sometimes getting it done is more important than getting it done accurately. Yeah, that one yarn just like totally sneezled me. Anyway, so I have this bag now. Full of those little skeins. Yeah, anything pastel. This is not as green as it's showing up there. It's a very faded green. Anything pastel and baby, baby blankets as well. They're all going to get over dyed first in a food coloring 
dye batch because acrylic and nylon and polyester and cotton will not take food coloring. So why would I dye in food coloring first? Because the wool will and the silk will. And you can get some really nice effects that way. A nice heathered look. Because when it's 20% wool to 80% acrylic, it's 20% by weight. And wool is a lot denser than acrylic, which means that while it's 20% by weight, it could be 90% by volume. It's a cool trick. Anyway, so I'll dye them first with the food coloring. Probably in the next couple of days, because I'm bored. And then when they're dried, they're washed out, and they're dried, and everything's done. Then... Later on, I will get some proper dye for synthetics. RIT makes a dye more. Dharma Trading Company has really good dyes. They're expensive. The spinning shop that I go to has really nice dyes. They're expensive. Probably use dye more. It's fun to blend colors. Anyway, so I'll dye these first in the food coloring in the next couple of days. It'll either be tomorrow or Wednesday, or it won't happen until Sunday, Monday. We will be working with the real estate agent Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There should be a bid on a house by Saturday. We are not going to settle for something that doesn't work, but it's like we were talking to somebody about it. They're like, well, what neighborhood do you want? I don't care about the neighborhood. No, 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 no. What neighborhood do you want? I don't care about the neighborhood. Period. Well, you wouldn't want to end up... They shut up. Somebody else we were talking about was like, well, I know you like the older houses. I'm like, I don't give a damn what the style of the house is. In all honesty, I would like a single story. I would. The husband would like something with an upstairs. What we get will depend on what's available and what works. If nothing is available that works this weekend, then we have NorwestCon. And it's going to get tight fast. He might have to take some time off work. <clears throat> so yeah. Hopefully there will be a bid by Saturday. That is the intention. Strongly believe in stating your intentions and putting them out there. Now I have the sore throat because I had the sneezles. <laughs> anyway, I have my book going. I do these books. This is how I keep track of my life. It can be this, it can be a steno pad, it can be just a basic notebook. See, I got, I got rocket ships. Because SpaceX is going to be launching a heavy on Tuesday or Wednesday. What I do is I write out... Yeah, I'm not going to show you everything, trust me. But what money we have incoming, his paycheck and that kind of stuff. We have an accident payout that should happen at some point. I'm holding my breath. What money is outgoing, what we need to plan for, who we owe money to personally... New house expenses. People don't think about it, but you've got to put curtains on every one of those windows or the neighbors can see you, because apartments have curtains, or at least blinds, okay? Utility deposits, gas, water, electric, trash. If the house doesn't have all of its appliances, these are used appliance prices, and buying the appliances we need used will come to about $3,000. So hopefully the house will have many of its appliances. We're going to need a business license. I've been hamstrung by not having a business license, and I want to just roll it into all these expenses. We need to set up an emergency fund because houses have emergencies. Then I did our upcoming availability schedule, which I will plug in if you want to help us move. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, once we have a house. Okay. But I plugged in, you know, NorwestCon's coming up. We're supposed to get together with the kid. Our 28th anniversary is coming up. The Haunter's Con. Uh, my Hide Under the Rock week, Michael's birthday. I detailed out every 
three-day weekend he has going through August because if we're not done by August we're just screwed then anticipated monthly incomes and expenses until the move and then anticipated monthly income and expenses after the move and I forgot to write something down so give me a moment And then one-time expenses coming up, like right now we have a $639 medical bill that has to be paid tomorrow or we're screwed. And that was the surgeon something something fee for his medical emergency. And then um, typical and atypical revenue streams that are possible, McMenamin's passport. You spend $30, you get $180 worth of prizes, or things along the way, and you get a $500 grand payout value, $500. For, for, if you complete the whole thing, you get two stays in a hotel, and some concert tickets, and some movie tickets, and just various things, and they say it comes to $500. So that's $680 that you can walk away with on a $30 investment. So that's atypical. Mostly we're going to be using that going forward for, you want to go someplace? I don't know. You want to go someplace? Yeah. Well, let's go hit a McMenamin's. We'll get some tater tots. Yeah. And then I have a thing with all of our different bank accounts and savings accounts because we have a whole bunch of orphaned accounts because we've lived in a whole bunch of places recently. And all of them have, you know, 10 and $20 in them. And we're going to be working on that and getting that taken care of. I don't know how we're going to take care of it. I would like to use various accounts for emergency funds and stuff so you know where the money is. I don't know what he wants to do yet. We kind of ran out of energy. We were going to make, he was going to make shepherd's pie for dinner tonight, have everything all set up and everything, and realized that it was 8 o'clock at night, and if he started cooking right then it wouldn't get done before 10:30. so he's over getting baked potatoes at Wendy's it's across the street you know ten dollars and we're fed it's twelve and a half minutes this is gonna take three hours to load I'm tired I have allergy eyes where well, I have a giant bruise on my leg that I have no idea where it came from other than you know hey bleeder me took some aspirin that's the only thing I can come up with I want to get moved. I had an idea for a painting today. I was like, I could do this. This would be really fun and easy to do. And I sat down and I, I write things up. So I wrote it all up. I made a, a worksheet page. What I do is, as if I'm in corporate America, I make a work order. I do this for my own art, okay? I do this for my own writing. I have 47 outstanding work orders for writing right now. Once we get moved and I have a computer that functions for more than two hours or 20 minutes. Okay, but I do the work order, and I did the work order for this art, and I'm like, that would be really, really cool. I want to do this, and I look around the apartment, and it's, it ain't happening here. Besides the fact that all the paints are in the garage, in the storage. So I want to get moved. I want to be able to do the food while he's at work, so that when he comes home, there's simply food ready, because that's what I like to do. I'm on the verge of wah. Trust me. Trust me. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.